Hello game programmers. This video is going to be the first one out of a few videos that talks about making games involving spaceships and gravity and thrust and space movement and screen wrapping and stuff like that. Popular games you may have played as a kid or even as an adult, things like Asteroids, um, two-player battle games where you have two spaceships flying around and there's planets and black holes that pull you around with gravity. We're going to do all that stuff over the next few videos. This stuff isn't that bad, so let's get started. Uh, this video is going to focus just on getting the ship to move around as if it's flying in space like this. So here we go. You'll see in my player create, I've given two variables. Uh, turn rate, that's going to be how fast I can turn left and right, and thrust. So when I hit the up arrow, how fast am I going to start to move forward? So you can fiddle with those values if you don't like the values that I have in there. Uh, you can put values that can actually be quite fun. Now remembering those two variables, let's go look at the step event. In the step event, here's the main stuff we have here. The player basically starts at a standstill. Um, when the keyboard detects that the up key is pressed, I'm going to use one of Game Maker's built-in scripts called Motion Add. Now there's actually a way to do this with like code code, but since Game Maker does have Motion Add already coded in for us, I'll use it here. Maybe in another video I'll show you what it's actually doing behind the scenes. But all you do with Motion Add is you just tell it what direction. And notice I'm using the image angle. For those of you that don't know, image angle is the direction of my sprite. So to the right is 0, up is 90. Uh, as you go around the circle right, you go all the way to 360. Whenever the person wants to go forward, I want to apply thrust in the direction that I'm looking, right? The direction the ship is pointing. And so that's my image angle, and the amount I want to add on to my speed is thrust. So it doesn't matter what direction and what speed I'm currently going, it's going to add this motion on. So it's different than set. There's actually one called set. Okay, Set means set, like make it this, add means add it on. This is exactly what happens when you know a rocket engine adds thrust. You add on some motion. So at that angle, add on this amount of thrust, which was the variable we made before. Don't worry about the make smoke. That's a script. You can download the program if you want to see how I made the smoke, or that'll be in a future video. Turning left and turning right. You can see here I have the left key. All I do is I take my image angle and I add on turn rate. Remember when you add on to an image angle, you're actually going counterclockwise. So that's basically turning left. And the same thing with the right key. I have minusing off my image angle, so I'm turning right. Now that honestly is the movement that you saw there on the screen. Okay, Just the up key with motion add and the left and right turning the image. You'll notice what the motion add does. When you actually play this game, since I'm just adding motion instead of setting motion, whatever speed I previously had is still there. I'm just adding on to it, right? Hence motion add. So when you see this actually work, if I'm drifting this way and then I turn the face sideways, I still maintain that portion of motion that I had before. So I'm going totally to the right, I face up, I've added some upward motion, and I'm still drifting to the right. Now, so this is very typical of space motion kind of games, right? The drifting thing. Okay? Love that stuff. So that's your basic motion uh, for the spaceship. In the next video, I'm going to take a look at the screen wrap, and then we'll start to throw in firing bullets, and we'll throw in the gravity. Okay, so I hope you like that simple start to our program. Um, like I said, for the smoke, uh, I'll do a separate video on the thrust there, right? Lots of ways to do it, but uh, not for this video. Thanks for watching.